is our rabbit tractor. It's a movable rabbit hutch with an open bottom so that the rabbits are accessing grass all of the time. And every day we just move this along to a fresh patch of grass so that they have constant access to fresh stuff and they mow it all down nice and short like this and then we don't have to mow the lawn. Easy way to convert grass into food. We have 10 rabbits in this hutch. It is um, 8 by 4 and they're very happy. The rabbit tractor has uh, a nesting box on it so that they have a place to go to escape the sun and the rain and whatever, and a place to sleep when they feel the need to. So it also has a open bottom so that they can access the grass. And they go in and out as they please. Our family was previously vegetarian, but um, in trying to be self-sufficient and raise our own food on our farm, we realized that not only do we need to eliminate animals from time to time, be it um, goat kids or chicks or um, laying hens who are no longer productive, no, uh, not only do we have to eliminate some animals, we also can't produce everything in the garden that we need to feed our family. So we started looking at sustainable, humane meat options. And not only are we eating our chickens, but um, we've also decided to keep these rabbits here. And uh, we wanted to keep them as naturally as possible. We don't want to feed them commercial food. We don't want to have to import anything for them. So here they are in this rabbit tractor where they've got a pretty large area to hop around in at will and constant access to fresh green grass and various weeds, dandelions, plantain and crabgrass and other things. So a wide variety of greens to be snacking on all day. And this way, they live as close to their natural state as they possibly could in confinement. And they're never overgrazing because every day they're moved to a fresh, a fresh patch of grass. Very easy system. Basically, each morning we just slide it along to a new patch of grass. And they spend the day grazing, and the next morning we move it along again. And by the time we've moved it along the entire yard, the place they started from is all lush and green and overgrown again, and we go right back to the beginning and start again. In this 8 by 4 tractor, there are 10 rabbits. A couple of these will be kept for breeding, and the rest will go into the freezer in about five more weeks. one of our chicken tractors. We have two. This is the smaller one. It houses um, six birds. And about once a week we move this on to a fresh patch of grass. So they also, like the rabbits, they have fresh forage all the time. And uh, they have access to all the greens and bugs that they can get in this space. This is an A-frame chicken tractor. 
so up top is the coop. They have a ladder inside that goes up. And the coop has a solar powered light inside. And a door for us to open. There's the nesting box. Lots of straw in there. A perch for them to perch on at night. And there are happy, healthy hens in there. They seem to like it. The second chicken tractor. This one is quite a lot larger. It's 8 feet across at the base and I think 12 feet long. And this holds quite a few more birds. There are a dozen birds in here. The driveway extends all the way down there. And it's all grassy, so you can move them up and down all the way along. It's about uh, a third of a kilometer, I suppose, from start to finish. And once a week, we just move it along. Hey, Rascal the Rooster, how you doing?